Hi guys, Chantal here again from Two Hearts One Roof and uh, Baby Aliens with me again. Still doesn't like being put down. So today we're going to do uh, an unboxing of a Degusta box. Um, I've been working with Degusta box for over a year now. Usually I just put pictures up on the blog and a recipe, uh, but today I thought I'd do an unboxing. So I have not read anything online, I've not looked at anybody else's pictures, so I don't actually know what's in this box at the moment. So it should be fun. Um, I'll still put up a review of each item on the blog if you want to check that out so you know what actually what me and John thought of it when we ate it or drank it. Um, but for now you'll be able to see what kind of items come in a Degusta box. Degusta boxes are monthly subscriptions again. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. I'll put the information below. Um, and they send you different types of food and drink. Um, either that are new to the UK, intended on launching in the UK, or a brand that's already in the UK and a new line within that brand usually. Sometimes they're items that have been out for a bit longer and they just want to kind of give them a bit of a kickstart or an extra boost. Um, but it tends to be really, really varied and really, really random, um, which is why we love receiving them because there's always something new and something different in there, which we might never have seen or never have tasted before. And it makes me think outside the box when I'm cooking sometimes because I always intend to try and use the items. Um, I'm not going to attempt to show you the box because it's super heavy. Um, but I will, it's just a brown box, nothing interesting. So, anyway, I've sliced it open ready so we can do this. Straight on the top, you always get one of these sheets. So this tells you everything that's in it. I've not looked at it yet. <laughs> And then on the back, there is usually a recipe using one or two of the items. This month, there seems to be an extra sheet in here as well. Seeing as it's the summertime box, there's a little something for the kids to do on there as well. Sometimes you also get vouchers in here or um, extra recipes from the brands um, or some sort of leaflets telling you about a company. If it's like a fair trade or an ethical company, it gives you a bit of information about them. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we have Seabrook, lovingly made in Yorkshire, Lattice Crisps, they are chorizo flavour. I can guarantee that once John sees these, they will be demolished. John's a very big chorizo fan. I don't eat it very much because I can't take the spice in it, um, but John will absolutely love these. What I have just noticed is this bag opens weirdly. Usually, you know, you open bag crisps from the top. There seems to be a peel here a bit. So I'm assuming it opens this way. Different. It's a sharer bag, by according to that. Cool. Oh, I think it's made by Three Little Pigs, maybe, rather than Seabrook. Oh, Three Little Pigs chorizo is used. They are Seabrook crisps. Excuse me. Okay, next we have some balsam, oh, chocolate biscuits. These are the ones you can buy in Lidl's. We like these biscuits. So I might not tell John these biscuits were in there. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's another pack of those too. Oh, maybe John will get one pack then. Okay, next. Itsu Crispy Seaweed Thins. Uh, sea salt flavoured crisps. Okay, I was expecting them to be used for sushi or something then. Um, so these are crisps. These sound like something I would like. I love crispy seaweed, you know, when you're at a Chinese or something like that. So that's really cool. Oh, and they're only 13 calories a pack. Okay. Oh, excuse him. Next we have oh, some berry white organic sparkling cranberry and guava. That sounds tasty. Uh, okay, it's a sparkling spring water blended with cranberry guava, with elderflower, and white tea extract. That sounds delicious. So I should think that'll be something I'll be drinking. I think there's another one too. Ooh. And this one is sparkling lemon and ginger uh, with acai berry, yerba mate, no idea what that is, and white tea extract. I'm not a big fan of ginger, if I'm honest. Um, so it'll get opened, it'll get tasted, it'll get drunk if we like it, if not, it will sadly go down the drain. <laughs> okay, let's pop 
goes there. There's another can of something in here. Oh, natural cucumber sparkling spring water. Okay, that should uh, be quite refreshing, I would think. Excuse me a minute. So, this is cucumber spring water. Uh, I should think it'd be really nice if it's like really, really cold or something. Uh, either drink straight from the can or use as a mixer. I should think if you're a G&T fan, that might be a good idea. Oh, we got a bottle of this a few weeks ago. Rejuvenation water. This is the Spanish orange one. Um, the last one we had was a apple and mint I think which was really nice um, so I look forward to trying that one yeah oh that was heavy okay the cracker drinks company pineapple coconut and lime fruit juice drink looks like that we drink quite a lot of juice in this house so I should think that will go down quite well I like pineapple juice I'm not too sure what coconut would be like. I'm assuming just coconut water mixed in with it. So again, something that would be nice and refreshing in this heat, I should think. Okay, I'm seeing a few things in bubble wrap. Seems to be a lot of drinks in this month's box. This is another one. We have aloe. Aloe original exposed aloe vera and honey water, I assume, of some sort. Uh... I'm not really sure what aloe water or aloe juice tastes like as I've never drunk any. Uh, so that'll be an interesting one. There we go, I think he's gone back to sleep. <laughs> okay, so we've got something wrapped in bubble wrap. That's the one good thing about these boxes. They pack everything really, really well. So um, we've never had any breakages or anything arrive damaged, which is awesome. Okay. This just shows you how random the boxes are. So, so far we've had like sweet treats, lots of drinks, and now we have balsamic vinegar. Yay! Uh, this is Sarsen's balsamic vinegar. Um, I love balsamic vinegar. John isn't much of a fan, but I love the stuff. Um, usually for using on salads. I like it on my salads or for um, dipping French bread into and things like that. So that will get used this summer with lots of salads. Okay, something else in bubble wrap. Oh, I can read what this is through the uh, through the bubble wrap. And I actually think I have a very similar jar in the fridge at the moment. Uh, this is Felix Sweet Pickled Swedish Gherkins. Okay, not something everyone's going to like, but I am in fact a very big fan of gherkins. I love them. Not a pregnancy thing, liked them before that. Um, so these will be mine. John won't go near them with a barge pole. Uh, so I'll enjoy those. Okay, next. Brookside dark chocolate, acai and blueberry flavours. Uh, soft fruit flavoured centres covered in smooth dark chocolate. So I don't think it's the actual fruit in the centre. It looks like there's something made from the two fruits in the centre. That sounds yummy as well. Uh, so, I like finding new kind of treat stuff. It's always nice to try something a bit different that you can just like munch on. Um, the only issue being that sometimes you can't find them afterwards in the supermarkets, which can be very sad. There are some more of those balsam biscuits. Oh, nearly at the bottom. Oh, round trees. Round trees with pastels, which obviously are not new at all but these are the infusions range so orange and grapefruit flavor raspberry and pomegranate flavor and apple and elderflower flavor they sound yummy too i love anything with that uh, elderflower or pomegranate <coughs> oh i apologize bless me <laughs> so there you go uh, and lastly oh bless me again Lastly, a very large bag of Jordan's Swiss Star Muesli. I'm assuming maybe it's a new version or a new range of it. So, <coughs> oh, 
<laughs> so it's this one. Uh, John eats a lot of muesli. John eats a lot of cereal, um, but likes muesli. So um, this will be his. I'm not such a fan of it, so um, he will have to try this. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, he'll try that one. Hopefully that's the last time I sneeze. So that's, yep, that is everything in this month's box. As you can see, really wide range of items. And that's why they're always so fun. I'll put all the information in the box below for you. And if you want to see what we thought of each item, nip over to the blog. There'll be a review of everything up soon. Um, <laughs> that's me. And possibly a review as well. So, bye from us, and uh, we'll see you again soon.